if any phase of your liver detox is compromised or not working well, that will have impact on your fat loss, hormonal balance, and your energy overall. So if you struggle with any of this, stay with me because today I will share with you what you can do to optimize each phase of your liver detox with specific foods and practical tips. But before that, let me share one very important thing. Liver detox is not something you should do as a two weeks plan. Your liver is working hard 365 days a year to process all the toxins from food environment, ammonia from protein you consume, and also your hormones, thyroid and estrogen. Super important for fat loss and hormonal balance. Anyway, let's start with how do you know in the first place if something is off with your liver and requires more attention? Fatigue, skin issues, weight gain or fat gain, indigestion, especially fats and generally hormone imbalances are indication that something may be off with your uh, liver. But of course, the best way is uh, simply uh, do the test. And that's something you can easily ask your doctor for the uh, liver panel or do privately. So let's get to more interesting and also practical uh, part. There are three phases of uh, liver detox. Phase one is all about processing those toxins and harmful compounds that our body has to deal uh, each day. And then phase two is about packaging those toxins into less harmful compounds so they can be safely excreted from our body. And phase three is pretty much excretion, uh, which happens through your kidneys, urine, uh, bile and bowel movement, and also uh, through your lymphatic system. Generally, what most people struggle with is overactivation of phase one and not enough support of phase two, which of course I will explain you how you can uh, balance uh, those phases and make sure your uh, liver uh, works well. But let's start with phase one. Phase one unfortunately generates a lot of free radicals, which are like the magic compounds to our DNA and also our uh, body tissue. Free radicals are just normal byproducts of metabolism and the liver detox, as I mentioned. So we don't want to completely stop it, but we want to make sure that those free radicals are balanced with antioxidants. And here you want to make sure that your body has enough of the key vitamins and minerals. Key vitamins are A, vitamin C, E, and B vitamins. Then from minerals, zinc, magnesium, molybden, manganese, and selenium are also uh, pretty important. Uh, Metabolomics Plus is one of my uh, favorite and most comprehensive tests available uh, on the market uh, that will give you a breakdown of all the liver essential uh, key vitamins and minerals, but also amino acids, which are essential for face, which I will explain in a second. But also for the test, you can get insights about your gut as well, which is an uh, important part of the uh, face uh, three. Anyway, I will put the link in the description in case you would like to uh, take a look. And if you need help with interpreting the test results or choosing the right supplement at the right dose and form so they can do their job and help you achieve your results, you can book nutritional consultation with me where I will help you create a personalized plan and help you get where you want to be. Anyway, so apart from the key vitamins and minerals, there are also certain foods that can support phase one. And the most powerful are really beetroot. Apart from that, asparagus, fruit and vegetables uh, as well. But beetroot, I would say, uh, super food that if you can, I would have that on a daily basis or at least a couple uh, times a week. You don't have to have juicer at home. You can actually get some like good quality uh, beetroot juice at organic stores or even supermarkets. Then also in terms of like supporting your phase one, you want to focus on reducing things that activate that uh, phase one uh, detox. So these are excess coffee and alcohol, pesticides, chemicals, smoked food, or deep fried food as well. So coffee and alcohol, of course, you don't have to cut completely, but really be mindful. I personally just drink one coffee a day and barely uh, any alcohol. And then with pesticides, where possible, I choose organic foods. With chemicals, the same, especially like the skincare and cleaning products, choose uh, organic natural where possible. And be mindful with like the smoked uh, deep fried foods. I personally only eat like the grilled cooked uh, or oven uh, baked uh, foods. Uh, then phase two, which is a bit of more complex and also, as I mentioned earlier, requires a bit of more attention nowadays because phase one is usually upregulated while phase two is unfortunately downregulated. And this imbalance can basically lead to like the toxin buildup and then also like fatigue, as I mentioned earlier, hormone imbalances, excess uh, fat as well, and uh, low energy overall. So to make sure that the toxins can be excreted safely, uh, your body needs certain amino acids, sulfur, choline, glucaric acid, flavonoids, 
and B vitamins again, B6, B9, B12. So in terms of amino acids, like glycine, glutamine, methionine, taurine, and cysteine are, are those key. I wouldn't recommend supplementing them separately unless you know that you're missing any of those in a significant amount. And the metabolomics uh, plus uh, test I mentioned also gives you a breakdown of what amino acids you are uh, missing and also how your body is breaking down uh, the protein because sometimes what can happen we eat a lot of protein but our body is not absorbing well which means that amino acids will be not be available to use for the uh, liver detox so the safest way is always like get things from uh, food uh, for glycine, uh, bone broth is a great source. Glycine is also a big important a nutrient for like cortisol metabolism. And then glutamine, methionine, taurine. So those are mostly present in animal-based products like eggs, beef, uh, chicken, and then cysteine. Uh, again, meat a little bit uh, present in oats and lentils. Uh, NAC, for example, is common uh, supplement to get that sustain and support a uh, liver. However, again, as I mentioned with supplements, usually I'm a bit of careful and choose only what our body uh, needs because NAC, for example, can also deplete you uh, from yin, which is another important uh, mineral. Uh, anyway, then from like the group uh, two, broccoli sprouts, garlic, I would say two top one, uh, eggs, great source of choline, a glucaric acid, apple grapefruit, carrot as well. Those are great for like glucaric acid and glutaric acid is one of those compounds that help you with estrogen balance. And then from flavonoids, a pomegranate, turmeric, green tea, but my absolute winner number one is a pomegranate and that's something I also like to add uh, to the smoothies. And if I had to put all the nutrients in like the practical application, uh, making smoothie would be a great option to get a lot of those uh, good um, nutrients. So to give you an example for the smoothie, you could use berries as a uh, base or banana as well, but berries more benefit. Uh, then pomegranate, either powder or juice, uh, matcha to uh, get the more concentrated compounds from like green tea as well. And uh, throw some like broccoli sprouts uh, in. So that could be just like idea how to get those nutrients in kind of like easy digestible uh, way. And then the last phase, excretion. So that's something you definitely want to ignore because you want to make sure that whatever your liver process gets out of your uh, system effectively and safely. Well, so here, as I mentioned earlier, you want to support your like kidney uh, function, bowel, and also lymphatic system. And the first very basic is, is simply staying hydrated. And, and what can be hugely beneficial is simply drinking uh, water first thing in the morning. Uh, I, for example, like to drink lemon water with a bit of apple cider vinegar for like, an extra uh, cleansing and blood sugar balancing uh, benefit. So, that's something like super simple uh, to make sure you also your water gets into the cell so your body is actually hydrated. Adding Himalayan salt uh, can help. And from like herbal teas, nettle tea is also quite... Uh, and something I forgot to mention in uh, phase one, you also want to avoid uh, excess protein because again, that induces the phase one. Of course, get enough protein, uh, but don't overdo. I made another video in terms of like how much protein is enough in terms of like the fat loss or overall health. So I will put the link in the description. And then for the bowel and the gut, also I want to make sure you get enough soluble fiber, which is like the chia seeds, the yellow green banana, apple or carrot, for example, as well, plus uh, probiotics. So kefir, uh, I personally prefer like goat kefir, kimchi, uh, any fermented uh, food. And this part is especially important when you have like any hormone imbalance, especially estrogen related, because if your gut is imbalanced, that puts you at higher risk of reabsorbing the estrogen back to your system and then contributing to all the estrogen dominant symptoms, including like the fat gain, painful period and uh, mood swings as well. So hydration, taking care of your gut and then lymphatic system. So that's something like a bit of like neglected aspect, I would say, but what can stimulate your lymphatic system and make sure your body excrete those toxins? Simply exercise, especially up and down uh, movement. So it's jumping, dancing as well. Those would be like the most impactful one. Uh, Skin brushing can be beneficial uh, and deep breathing. So that's something I'm especially like passionate about, not only because of the lymphatic system, but also uh, because of your like nervous system, which then has impact on the uh, hormones as well and uh, fat loss. 